Hello traders. Now I'm not as rushed as, as I was last night, so I'm able to put out a pre-market, you know, watch list dash discussions video as well. It helps me to explain why I'm sort of going to be looking at a pair, uh, a currency, you know, a currency, a, a ticker, a stock, and then, you know, I can justify things and this helps my learning because it's still very new to me. I mean, come this Friday, it would only be six weeks of me being in the course. So, you know, I'm still <laughs> learning a lot. And there's a lot to learn as well. Definitely a lot to learn. Now, I've got XXII up here. Uh, and uh, just looking at it, it seems to be, you know, it's not that exciting, to be honest. Uh, there's the volume, so it's, well... It's not spectacular, is it, at all? I mean, it's holding around, uh, I mean, 225. The problem is, though, there's this resistance levels everywhere. Then there's 235, then there's you know, 245, 246. So, you know, it's just, <laughs> there's just not a lot of potential there. So, I mean, it's one to watch, but we'll see what it does. I don't mind these steadier state type plays because I'm still raw in my execution and watching the markets and being able to execute a trade quickly is still, you know, not beyond me entirely, but I, it's something that I'm not really good at. So anyway, so that was my take on XXIR and another gentleman from Western Australia was talking about NSRPF. I don't actually think I can get this chart up if some reason. So it's not letting me do it, but I can get it up on Market Watch. Oh. Oh, thank you, Interactive Brokers, you huge piece of shit. MGTI will bring up. Okay, so this is, this is the Bitcoin play. Um, and we'll get the Bitcoin chart up as well, just to put it into a bit of context. A uh, Bitcoin is, is the wild, wild, wild west of uh, trading, to be honest. A good friend of mine who actually traded Bitcoin now it's back at four thousand. Is it really? <laughs> we'll get the four hour chart up. Cause it got down. It got down to like uh three thousand okay, so it's back. Well my take on it, if it's above four, I mean it's just Yeah, nice, nice. It's just an a god almighty uptrend. I mean go to the weekly chart. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's just unbelievable. You know, that's that's a semi bearish sign there for uh, for for Bitcoin, but still bullish. It's still bullish. Obviously, you know, there's an all time high established at forty four hundred, uh, but it's still you know. So that to me, that says um, potential dip buys. So I mean, what was the low here? One sixty five. So maybe down to like one fifty four. For dip up potentially, or I mean 140, 146, 145, perhaps closing the gap there, I would think. So MGTI, that'd be a possibility. And let's get NSRPF up as well. So I, I think a maximum is three. I I just can't really focus on so many tickets. It's just a struggle for me. Because I'm a simple man. Alright, so, okay, this is quite interesting. Alright, so I appreciate the heads up from my West Australian trading buddy. I didn't ask whether or not I could mention his name, so I just won't. But he knows who he is. I'll, I'll send him this video. So volume low, we were discussing. So I mean the high there, 439, 440. So potential breakout play if it can get above that. So that, that would be what I would think about. Or I mean, but then it's already then it's already had to do a lot of work though. So maybe over four thirty. Is it four thirty resistance? Let's go to like the yearly. Let's go to the yearly chart. Okay, so we're at all time. Nice for the yearly. What about just all? This is a bit messy though. Is it <clears throat> the loading? You can do it. You can do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Got my coffee. Got my coffee. It's strong. You know it's strong when the particulates are floating on top. Three heat teaspoons. It's ah, good stuff, baby. That's strong stuff.
at pre-workout one night, that was a shit idea. I didn't sleep. So don't do that. Don't. Just a recommendation for the cretins like myself who are up late. Um, it's not loading. I need a haircut too. Look at this. Look at this shit. I got sunburned today. I got sunburned today somehow. I was uh, coaching athletics. I actually have a master's in strength and conditioning. Four and a half years at university. What did it get me? Well, no comment. Okay, so it's a yearly. Can we get the, the three-year chart? Can we get something? Please, Michael, watch. Can we just be respectful? Okay. So, and all. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's it's absolute all-time highs. That's quite interesting now. So we go to the daily. I like to get a macro perspective as well. I really like to keep these videos short, guys. I'm sorry about my rambling. Um, caffeine's just taken a hit. So maybe 4.30. I mean, it looks like 28. <sighs> what I really want to... I mean, honestly, though, like I wouldn't. I would wait till it gets to, to 40. Like put a pending order in for like 42 to take into consideration a little bit of spread. You know, or just 40. You know, fuck it, just 40. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to watch. This is quite interesting. So, again, they just want to watch the volume. You want to keep updating it. You want to be aware of these things and also the price action as well. So we go to the candlesticks. I mean, ideally what you'd like to see is like an engulfing candlestick. So you've got, you know, like 4.30, the nice little bullish candle that goes to 4.40, you know. Hey. Anyway, we'll get that out of the way. Uh, nope. What else was on the Tim? I'm trying to like, I refer to Tim's watch list. I do. So the Bitcoin plays. Sing. BTSC. I like MGTI. I'm just going to focus on one. I'm a novice trader, very raw, be well, I'm more of a raw beginner um, penny stock trader, day trader. So uh, HMI, FATE, EXDR, GoPro, our earnings winners, I'm still watching. None of them are acting very gen oh, greatly, so we know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm finding that's the same. You know, they, they're slow moving. And for me, with the time zone I'm in, I don't really want to stay up, like, constantly watching the charts because, you know, I just don't. If I nap during the day, I can do that. Like, tomorrow, I'll be able to, I'll be able to do a nice, solid session to stay up to, like, 2 in the morning. Or I might go to midnight and have a little nap on the couch. Um... I'll just sleep in the chair, you know, absolutely degenerate. I won't do that. I'll actually probably sleep in the bed and then wake up at 3.15 just so I'm just ready and dialed in. Okay, so plays, guys. All right, we're talking we're talking business now. So a potential dip by 145 or if it doesn't dip down and it breaks through 190, 192. So there's my two potentials. I prefer these plays. I prefer just the breakouts of resistance for a buy. I don't really just psychologically. I just it's pretty scary for um, and you've really got to wait and be very focused. See it, see it react sideways, and then that little bounce up, and then get in. And it's just you've got to be very focused, and it's still quite scary to me. And it's just a demo account. So that's my potential there, MGTI and. Um, XXII, should I even watch this? I probably won't. I'm not even going to watch XXII. It's just, it's just so, I see it just flattening out a little bit, you know, and this is so much resistance, resistance, you know, it, it needs to really work up to 279 and then I'd be interested. So, um, that's it go, guys. Okay. So I'll, I'll write it all down as well in the description section. Thank you for watching. Um, and happy trading. Bye.